What is up, guys? We're back for another one. You can see we're in the garage. Well, I don't have a hobby on base. Oh, well, our nice walking tool set up. Uh, we've got a handful of things I'd like to get done today. One of them being these Berkline uh, tie rod ends. A little close up here. I've had these for a while now, and I just haven't really had the time to get them in. But today, we are putting in some 0 3 4 uh, strut tops, new bearings, new mounts, new, new bushings, essentially. Um, mine are shot. My bearings are like, when the jack the car up here, I'll show you. You can just see the bearings. They're all messed up. It makes a nasty, crunchy noise up front when I turn and such. So these are going to go in. And I have the Euro Sport, Euro Code, Euro something, uh, camber. I've got to drill these out and put these camber hooks in and add camber. And I, I'm still undecided if I'm going to put them back in this. But if I don't, then I need an alignment. So it's like this big thing in my head because I don't have a whole lot of tie rod length to get my alignment where I want it with the way the suspension is. Really, I need coilovers to have a shorter, uh, shorter shock, shorter spring, and bring everything up, and then have that handbar adjustability from the top with just not this type of strut top. I need coilovers real bad, but I'm still saving up for them, and the ones I want are really expensive. So I figured I'd toss these in for now and uh, hope for the best. So we're, our number one goal today is getting these in. Um, and if we're feeling froggy, we have enough time, get these work line. That's what it's going to be. We also have racing line, um, drain plug, magnetic drain plug and fill plug uh, for the Halbex. And then we do a Halbex service today. So. And a tire rotation, and loop the suspension, and do a boat check. So we got a whole bunch of things to do. I'm trying to be out of here in like four hours. And the, the truck stuff alone is probably going to take me like most of the time. So, excuse me, I'm like perfect. Um, yeah, that's our goal for today. I'm not going to be too in depth with anything, but I'll bring you guys one way, show you some things, and uh, have a nice garage day. Let's just unbox these bad boys real quick. Shout out to Sean, and it's not stock for hooking me up with these bad boys. Got here as quick as he could get them. And uh, yeah. Oh, shout out to my old lady. She got me this Leatherman for Father's Day, and this thing is just bad ass it's got like some little lock here it's got most things that you'd want it's it's really nice it's got a fire starter this thing's a whistle this is a can opener it's a hammer you can put a quarter drive in there all types of i mean this thing is legit that's it it's got a diamond file to sharpen your blades it's it's legit i love 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 this thing anyway oh yeah nice and smooth mine feel like you just dumped a pound of dust in them disgusting Shout out to 034, shout out to It's Not Stock. Not a whole lot to it. It's just an upgraded upgraded rubber up here in the bushing to try and, uh, you know, be a little stiffer, less noise, less deflection, I guess. But what we'd have to do to put those uh, camber tops in is what you do, you drill this, you drill this out, and it this comes off in two pieces, and then you install the new camber piece, so... We'll just have to see if we feel like doing that. Oh, I was telling you guys about my current bearings. Not supposed to look like that. Like that is, that's by it. That's very, very by it, Jenny. Come over here. The sides, pretty nasty as well. So, we'll get that taken care of today. We're taking this all apart with the Verk line arms and stuff. Haven't removed a strut like this yet, like with this setup. So, um, probably just disconnect it from right there. Um, obviously, we'll have to do the level sensors and end link and the brakes. Got new axle bolts, so we'll, we'll pull it off. And <sighs> not the most fun, but. We'll get her done. A little inspection here. Down pipe's holding up great. 
Don't like any leaks anywhere, no nothings. Good, good, good. You know, we're about to move to Texas too, so it's real nice not ever having to worry about rust again down there, really. We're nice and lubed up still on the 034 sway bar that I've had for like 10 years now. Everything's looking pretty good. And, uh, okay, so Haldex, it'll be, I don't know, some of these right here. Or maybe it's right here. Yeah, I think it's actually right here. Can y'all see that color? Oh, it looks better from this angle with the light, but yeah, she definitely need to change. We'll let that drain, then we'll pull the filter, clean that, throw it all back together. All right, guys, we're gonna see the Haldex filter here in a minute. You got an electrical connector right there. You got a T25 there, and then a T25 exactly 180 degrees from this one. Kind of, you can't really get the camera up there to show you. And then we'll wiggle this housing off and the filter should be right there, secured with a couple T10s. It's a little wiggle. Oh, she's draining out. better shot in there you guys can see all the gunk sitting definitely want to wipe that out we'll go back over here to the filter I didn't take it off yet just letting it drain you can see particles all all on her so we'll get that taken care of here really simple easy thing to do and uh, yeah prolong the life of your Haldex what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it up I got this nice pressure guy I use this for transmissions and stuff so I filled it up till it started pissing out and now I'm gonna let it uh, let it run for a little bit we got traction control fully off and just letting it idle and it's doing its thing so I'll get the pump work in get some air bubbles out whatever whatever and we'll pop the drain back off or the fill back off make sure that it's full because it, it should probably just start pissing out since the oil is getting warm should expand but uh, you just want to make sure that it is full and then tighten it up and you're done so uh there's the ball bearings and there's probably two yeah i think there's only two. Oh nope there's three three four one's jammed up in there so yeah as you can tell this is not ideal whatsoever so like I said, brand new units here. I think I am just gonna pop this bad boy on off. And we'll have to drill this one out, pop this one in, and uh, yeah. This has been kind of freaking miserable. The other side gave me a lot more trouble than this side, but it's on. Sorry, Zero Three Four, for having to drill out your uh, metal inserts and slap these in, but I don't want to have to flying the car and um, I'm so tired for a car I'm sorry I'm not putting these in today uh, maybe once we get to Texas that will be one of the first months there along with the intercooler I don't know it is just too damn hot I'm going through this heat wave this weekend it's awful I'm just going to tighten this real quick and then uh, slap it back in the car on this side sorry about the van just kind of like walking it back together but it's junk about to go in. Everything's looped up. Looking good. I'm ready to be done. I'm freaking exhausted. What a day. Guys, I cannot express how happy I am. Listen to that. No noise. Normally my front end is making all types of terrible noises because those bushings being bad and everything's freshly lubed up. There is no sound for my suspension at all and it hasn't been like that for a long time. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. You know, I suffered all day. Definitely worth it. Again, I want to give a shout out to Sean and It's Not Stock for always getting me what I need as soon as I can get it. Um, shout out to 034, making a solid product. Um, 
perk line, of course. I'm gonna get those in, I promise, I swear. I was saving them, I was supposed to have coilovers by now, but of course, life happened, so I really do apologize for not having them in yet. I really do wanna run them. Just, time is not my friend. Money hasn't been greatest to me this year. Kind of, but not really. Um, not enough for the coilovers I want at least, so. What else? I don't know. That's all I got. We got a poker run coming up tomorrow. The old ladies bring out a Ram 3. And then that's probably our last real thing we're doing before we leave for Texas. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip flop.